Hello everybody, this is Daryl the AutoCool Guy and today we're going to take a look at all of the sensors for the AutoCool controller any of the controllers. This is the standard breast sensor that uh, is shipped with the controller if you do not order any of the other sensors. Now keep in mind if you order the brass plug sensor or the inline sensor this sensor is not shipped with the controller so keep that in mind. This uh, standard brush sensor is not on the outflow port of your radar, not the inflow, but the outflow. The controller wants to see the temperature of the coolant coming out of the radiator. So if you put it on the outflow, your fan is going to be running at high RPM all the time because the inflow is going to be a higher high temperature. Um, this is a con <clears throat> the standard bread sensor has about a five foot twisted pair of wire that comes out of it. Uh, also, this sensor, like the others, the resistance, uh, depending when they're cold, the, 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 the resistance is going to be 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 ohms cold, basically depending on what the outside air temperature is. When they're hot, they're going to be down maybe around four or 5,000 ohms to uh, run the controller. Um, if you have a sensor that's you have uh, one side of this wire, if you measured one side of this wire and shorted it to the case, you got a bad sensor. Uh, that will keep the controller from working properly. So, if you have a short, if you got an ohmmeter and you got a short between one of these wires and the and the brass shim, <clears throat> you have a bad sensor. So let us know and we'll get you a new sensor out right away. Okay, the next one is. <coughs> The brass plug sensor. We have them in three sizes. We have the eighth inch, the quarter inch, and the three eighths. These are national um, pipe thread, standard national pipe thread. And this this uh, wire coming out is is high good, very good Teflon, high temperature wire, and it has number uh, six terminals on the end. Now we supply extra wire with these sensors and the hardware as you can see here it's about five foot of twisted pair of wire with it with the hardware in a little bit little bag okay so that's eighth inch quarter inch and three eighth sensor now the next sensor we have is the copper inline sensor now these come in <coughs> sizes inch and a quarter inch and a half inch and a half inch and three quarter and two inch now this is the sensor, this is the sensor that goes into this port, like so, and we include the extra twisted pair of wire with hardware. As you can see, the sensor itself is going to be in the, the coolant stream to give you a fast response. We have been told that this sensor has a uh, fast response, faster than the standard breast sensor, because the tip is in the coolant stream. Like I say, this sensor goes on the the outflow cooling back to the engine. Don't put it on the inflow because, again, you're going to have high RPM of engine, high RPM of your radiator fan due to the high temperature of the coolant. It's, it's, it can't control if it's on the inflow of the radiator. So <clears throat> I think that's about it. Real simple. All these sensors have the same resistance, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 is cold. So there you got, there you have it. Let me know if you have any trouble, any questions, give me a call or email. Thanks guys, bye.